Hey you guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel. So today you're gonna see the last empties video from last year because I already just filmed a five month empty for my first empties video for 2022 but I didn't get to post or edit my last empties video for last year. If you wanna see that, then just keep on watching. You will see my intro, my outro and whatnot and the total. And I will at the end of that video leave the amount that I finished last year because a few products I didn't add up because I threw them away in the US, but I actually know what they are. They weren't that much. So you will see if I reach my goal from last year on this video. Now go back to see pregnant Jordana doing her empties video. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be my last empty here at my house for this year. Here are my empties and I'm trying to reach my goal. I used to do $3,000 worth of beauty products. That includes anything related to skincare, makeup and whatnot. But I've been just trying to lower my goal since I haven't been finishing that many products. Maybe, maybe this year I can reach my goal. So if you want to see my empties, mini reviews of these products, the way I use them, if I like them, if I would repurchase them, then just keep on watching. The first product that I have here is a Garnier Micellar Water. This one I finished and then my mom actually gave me half a bottle I will repurchase. And Garnier is recently cruelty free so these I prefer now way more than Bioderma since I use so many bottles throughout the year. I have lashes and you guys know I don't wear lashes on the daily. I have to go to a main event to wear them but I love them for my makeup artistry kit and these are the Ardell Glamour Multi-Pack 105. I love these. These are so full but so wispy at the same time. They're beautiful for round eyes and they make them look huge so I would highly recommend them. This one you probably already saw my deck of panning project pan. This is the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue. I will repurchase these at some point if it's still available when I finish a few of the primers that I need to finish from my collection because this actually, I fell in love with it while having it on the project. Even though it was mostly used, using it on a consistent basis, it made my makeup last so long. I just went crazy over it. These are the squeeze of pineapple and the pink sweet and flirty a body mist from Victoria's Secret. I really like them. I use about four of them or three of them a year. I wear them almost every single day because I don't wear perfume and I have a stock so I will not be repurchasing. If I finish the two that I'm taking with me, I will buy maybe one because I have other two right here. Here is the Laura Mercier Mattifying Oil Free Moisturizer. I haven't been able to find these either on Laura Mercier website or the Sephora website but I was actually obsessed with this moisturizer since I got it. It took me forever because I have other moisturizers that I put in my rotation. So I was using about three at a time, but this was my go-to underneath makeup. It would hydrate my skin without making me more oily than I tend to be. This is an essence toner that I purchased from Yes Style. These I loved. This little bottle lasts a long time. It's a water, but it's kind of sticky in a good way. And then it sets into your skin and it hydrates it, but it still feels like a Water. So I would apply it on my fingers, rub it in, and then apply it and massage it on my face and my neck, and a few drops would go a long way. Yuyun Kanyo Essence Toner, and I would highly recommend it. They sell it in a bigger bottle, and this was basically a first for me. I fell in love with it. I love their products. They're affordable, and they're easy to use, and they sink into the skin, and they are affordable, but feel high-end. I have this sample here. This is the Fido specific thermo something for the hair. I didn't like the scent. I used it up because I've been working on all of my samples, but I wouldn't recommend. The day before yesterday, I finished this and this took me, I think two years to finish, maybe one year and a half. But yesterday I opened the new one that I had as a backup. I got this one on Amazon, but I got my backup from YesStyle. I love that product. This is what I use to remove my first layer of makeup and melt my makeup off before washing every single day. And it will make a difference in your budget. Some people waste this, I don't know why, but this is easy to just use the tiniest amount, rub it on your fingers and melt your makeup away. I use a full face of makeup every day. If this lasted two years for me, 
it can last at least a year for you even if you're wasteful so yeah this is the Hamish all clean balm clean and comfortable beauty intensive cleansing balm the first cleansing balm that I would buy was the Clinique one and that one was pricier than this one I'm trying to use products that are more clean for my skin and this is more clean than the Clinique one so that's why I decided to switch up from Clinique to Hamish. This is a hand sanitizer from Pink and I know I will get a few of these when I go to the US. These, my aunt sent me two bottles. I have the second one currently open. My husband and I will love these for hand sanitizers. They smell amazing like body mist. You can buy the little thing that you can put on your purse with it. The scent is amazing, it dries out super quickly. Maybe it can make your hands a little bit um, dry. I haven't found that. I have an issue with that, but if you have dry hands, maybe this consistency will not be the best for you. And it comes with aloe, it says here, but it smells amazing. It dries out, it doesn't make your hands sweaty, even if you live in a humid weather. So I would highly recommend picking up a few hand sanitizers from Pink, for sure. Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid salicylic acid this took me forever to finish because this actually would make my skin sensitive finished it i wouldn't repurchase it maybe it does amazing things for your skin it would just leave my skin too oversensitive so yeah i wouldn't recommend this i wouldn't repurchase i this was a sample but i wouldn't purchase the full size because it didn't agree with me okay i have here a sponge and <laughs> this one started to just leave little dark dots behind even though it's broken sometimes when they're broken because I was washing them too hard and apply pressure in them, they don't start to peel on my face with the foundation. But this one started to do that, so I had to throw it away. I will repurchase this Beauty Junkie sponge. I love them. Two foundations that I finished. I've been trying to just finish a lot of the foundations from my collection. And these two were on my makeup artistry kit. But these were the least used foundation colors on my makeup artist kit. So I started to use them on myself and I realized why I fell back in love with the formula. These are Too Faced Born This Way foundations and I used to have about 9 shades on my kit and now I have only about 3 shades left. So I need to restock on them. This is Warm Nude and Natural Beige and these were too pinky. So I had to mix them with other products just to make them work on my face. But that was the reason why I didn't use them on my clients here. Now, I'm Latina and here and most people are warm toned or olivey but they are not that pink. And these pull pink for some reason even the ones that say... Um, warm. would highly recommend this foundation. I will still keep it on my makeup artist trick kit. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful everyday medium to full coverage foundation. It's just that I wouldn't purchase these two shades again. My empties are not an empty if I don't have a Laura Mercier translucent powder. I usually don't have them if I film this video monthly but if I film it every three months I will for sure have a Laura Mercier powder. I don't know why I've been going through these quicker maybe i'm more heavy hand when it comes to my powders now but i love these these i made it last because i was mixing it a little bit with the fenty powder translucent powder that i truly do not like i hate that powder it makes me look dry being oily in combination for a powder to make me look dry that's just a performance issue when it comes to the powder and i bought that for my makeup artist trick it and i couldn't put it on my clients after trying it on myself so I was mixing it with my favorite, which is the Laura Mercier Translucent. I have actually one of these open and one sealed up. So I will keep using it and this will be a powder that I will always have in my makeup collection and on my makeup artist kit. A sample of a serum from Chanel, forgettable, I don't even remember about it. This daily microfoliant from Dermalogica, this I used about four days. You need the tiniest amount. I actually really like this. I find it to be too much work for what I prefer, but I actually, if I saw this in a sale or something, I would purchase. I know Dermalogica is expensive, but the granules are beautiful. And then when you put, mesh them with water, it's a great exfoliant. I really, really like this. I have here a little bag of cotton rounds. Maybe I will find another one on my bag, but um, I, I have one bag so far. I will always repurchase them. I told you guys that I was working on skincare. So I have here the Luna Oil. This is the Sleeping Night Oil. This is a retinoid type of product. It lasted forever. 
This is so pricey that I know this is gonna get me to a mark when it comes to my empties and I wanted to finish this because this is so old but it was still performing amazingly. I love the way this makes my skin feel but I've been loving more the Grace and Hue Nighttime Serum oil that I've been using because that one is so much more lightweight and I feel like my skin looks super hydrated the next day. This was a good way to add retinols into my skincare and I think I would buy it again, but I would buy the smaller bottle. From my bathroom, I have the Natura Body Exfoliant and I like this, but I wasn't a fan enough to repurchase it. Two more samples right here. The Dr. Brand Microdermabrasion Skin Exfoliant. I love exfoliators and I'm not that picky. I really like this. It's just that I prefer the Dermalogica one. Then this one used to be my go-to. Now that I have the Laura Mercier Balancing Face Wash, this is a lot like that one. So since I have that one, I don't need this one, but I could just keep repurchasing either or because they are basically the exact same. They're both beautiful. This is the Frothy Face Wash. And this was a go-to favorite for years. So when I saw the sample, I had to use it again. And I love that you need the tiniest amount for it to lather up on your face. I just really find that this cleanser makes me happier when I'm in the shower. So at some point, I guess I can have it in my collection again after I finish the few cleansers that I still have left. More skincare, you guys. So I have here the Ordinary Argireline solution 10 percent this is supposed to be botox in a bottle i didn't notice that it was botox in a bottle it would hydrate my skin in a way make it feel plumper so yeah i finished this this was my daytime serum sometimes i would use it at night it lasted a good while and i would repurchase the ordinary i just rotate the serums from them for daytime because i find them to be lightweight enough before makeup this one I have a bag up and it's open and it's basically my favorite eye cream right now. This is the Laura Mercier Illuminating Eye Cream. This is available on their website. I love this eye cream. I love it. I love it underneath makeup. I love it at night. It's just one that has replaced my favorite, my all-time favorite, which was the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Eye Cream because these with makeup performs incredible. These I had to show it right here because this is basically an indulgent product even though it's super affordable. This is the, these I got maybe at a TJ Maxx or something. This is the Mystic Antidote Calming Pillow Spray with lavender and sage. It relieves stress and promotes harmony. And this is cruelty-free. I got this the last time that I went to the US and since I have lavender oil from doTERRA that a friend gave to me, I would sometimes enhance the lavender by applying a few drops more on the spray and I would use this spray for my bed at night when I was about to go to bed and I loved it. Not every day I would use it but I used it a ton until I finished it. I'm not telling you to get this exact brand but I love putting lavender sprays on my pillows, for sure. I have these mascaras right here. This is the Monsieur Big by Lancome. I love, love, love these mascaras so much, so much that I purchased one on the Sephora Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. You guys know that they compete right now. This makes your lashes feel and look super volumized. And even though this is not the waterproof version, I found it to be super smudge proof. When it was already running low, it started to get uh, dots of mascara, but I can't handle that. With the volume that this gives, I know that this was a small size and it lasted about two months using it every single day. So I know that the big one is gonna last way more and the consistency is beautiful. The way it made my lashes look is beautiful. I adore this. Would highly recommend this mascara. One that didn't blow my mind and I know people love it is the Milk Kush Mascara. This was okay. I wouldn't repurchase. I wouldn't recommend. It was it was nothing special to me and it would smudge on me. The Kat Von D tattoo liner. I had two of the minis. Always get when I see them as point perks. I don't think I will repurchase. I'm wearing the one that I get from Yes Style. I think I actually prefer that over this one. It doesn't perform well all over metallic eyeshadows. I don't know. It's not my favorite. I was thinking about trying the new Natasha Denona one. If you guys have tried that, let me know what you think below. But uh, the one that I get from Yes Style is five to six dollars. So I will leave a link below because I prefer to link that over the KVD one. I loved it while I had it, 
but I don't know if I would pay full price again for the big size. One black eyeliner that I finished, this is the Clinique Quick Liner for Intense Eyes. I actually didn't love this liner, it was just not for me. It had good intensity, but it wasn't as black as I love it to be, and it wasn't as creamy as I love for eyeliner to be, and I still prefer my Rimmel Scandalize. When I find a product that is better than that one, and it can actually compete when it comes to pricing, then I will think about it, but this one, it's probably about 19 to 20 something dollars, and the Rimmel one is about three to five dollars tops, and it performs amazingly. I told you guys that I was gonna be working on my Stila glitters, and I've been using them a ton. So I have here a, quite a bunch of empties, and I know I will be finishing them maybe next year because I don't think I'll be able to finish them before the year is over. I have here the shades Plum On, Monarch, Smoky Storm, and Forever. They started to just get super dried out, but I use them at least each about three times or four times. And the ones that I could revive, I would. The ones that didn't want to revive, I wouldn't. And I like them. In the future, we'll have about two shades three shade stops of each of the glitter and the shimmers and glow. And I know I will miss a lot of them in my collection. They were used and abused for sure. None of them were new, but I wish I would have paid more attention to them throughout the pandemic and used them more than I did. And also I have Sunset Fire, so five minis and that's a ton. I still have a few minis to go, about three minis to go. Two shimmer and glows and one glitter and glow. Rose Gold Retro is one of my most used shades. Oh my goodness, this was for purchase. This is completely empty. This lasted for a long time. I love this color. I would have it again in my collection. Then also I have here Bohem and this one was too dried out. So I used it for about three days straight and I tried to revive it. It didn't work. It didn't give me a full-on application the last day, so I had to just play with it and mesh with it, but it's already gone. I think I would prefer to repurchase Cloud over Bohem, and I think this was limited edition. And then this is the last one that I finished. The lid of the other one that I'm trying to finish broke, so I switched out the lid. And this one was limited edition, but if I could find it, and this could be the only one that I would pull from the shimmers and glows, I would. This is scare-free, and it's a pink and I can use this type of shade every single day. I love it, I just adore it. Didn't have that much product, it looks like it has a lot, but for all of them I always remove the stoppers, try to mesh around with them, put drops in, in them. So this, this one didn't have a lot of product, and it makes sense because it's one of those that I use as much as Rose Gold Retro. So these two I would repurchase, the rest of them, I don't think I truly would. But they are beautiful. If you find a shade that you love and you love wearing glitter without the hassle of wearing glitter, I would recommend them. The Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I really like this foundation. I will not repurchase because I have too many foundations to go through, but it performed really nicely on my skin and it stayed put throughout the day. Maybe in the future I will purchase it, but so far I'm good with foundation and I'm more into tinted moisturizers right now. The Dr. Brand Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Blackhead Extractor Mask. This doesn't work. For me, the only thing that works is either you cleaning your nose with a nose cleaning thing to remove blackheads or you applying one of those nose strips on your nose. I have here my Urban Decay Demolition Dark Brown Eyeliner and I really like this. I have a backup. I will always have a dark brown liner and I actually can't find one on the Rimmel formula, so I would keep repurchasing Demolition and Whiskey, which are my favorite uh, dark brown and warm brown, but the black one, I still will use the Rimmel one. The OPI Pro Spa Nail Cuticle Oil to Go. This is amazing to apply on your cuticles after you get your nails done. I loved it, it lasted me for ages because you need the tiniest amount. I would repurchase, I got this as a gift with purchase. It was good while it lasted and this at some point was even on my favorites. I've been using skincare like I said, so I've been pulling up even my samples. This is the nude Progenius Rescue Oil and I finished this one. It wasn't my favorite. It was too oily and the scent I didn't like that much. It has a natural scent but 
I didn't enjoy it, so I wouldn't purchase this. Then I have here the Ultra Repair Cannabis and Oat Dry Oil. This I liked, but I still prefer my Hue and Grace, even though that one is pricier. This is the Dior Backstage in the shade 4N. I was actually tempted to buy this as a bronzer, or just to add this shade on my kit and get a lighter shade for me, but I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing foundation because I have so many to go through. I love to use this as a bronzer. It meshes into your skin beautifully, and I think this is a great foundation to have on your makeup artist kit. Yesterday, I finished the High Beam by Benefit, and I've been finishing a lot of products. I just, I made it my goal. So this one, oh, it has a little bit. So you can see it right here. I thought it was completely done. Here, it's a beautiful product. I would use it underneath foundation, on top of foundation. So I know that it has one more use left, but I'm gonna consider this an empty. I already used it, I like it. I just think I would prefer another shade, something more golden. I finished this eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. This is Beaches and Cream. I had only the smallest amount and I finished it as a transition shade every day and I'm pretty happy that I did. I've been trying to work on just finishing my singles. I will never buy singles ever again. I also finished one little perfume sample. This is the Cartier Carrot. This was too strong for me. I finished it but I wouldn't recommend if you are like me that you're sensitive to scent. For my body I used the Sesderma body milk and this was hydrating. Not that I would repurchase. I prefer my Nivea lotions or even the lotions that I've been using right now which are the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. So then I also have here the La Roche-Posay Serum. This was really nice. This is like a high Hyaluronic serum. It has also vitamin B5. I wouldn't repurchase because I prefer to buy something more affordable like the ordinary But this felt really nice and hydrating on the skin And then this one will give away one of the reasons why I'm going to the US But this is the massage cream for stretch marks Beautiful body cream is thick. It's amazing. I will rub it all over my belly and my hips and my legs and my boobs and I don't know if it will work in the long run. I will see, I will let you guys know. I have a backup of this one and I have the entire treatment and I've been loving using the oils and everything from this line. And I think I will keep repurchasing um, in the future the lotion that they have that has a pump because it's hydrating but it's not super um, heavy on my body. I hate wearing body lotion and I've been actually loving this one. So that's it for my empties, you guys. I have one product that I haven't shown that I'm not gonna show you because, because it's all the way over there. And it's a cargo eyeliner. I finished it, you will see it empty on my Partners in Cream update. You already probably saw that. So that one, it's an empty, it's done and gone. And I'm super happy about that because I've been trying to finish all of my black liners to now that I'm traveling, purchase about six of the Rimmel ones. I'm gonna leave right here. The amount that I finished so far this year in money when it comes to all of these products that I showed you. Then I'm gonna add it up to the past amount that I showed on my last empties video. And then I'm gonna leave here the total that I finished so far this year on beauty products. And then also I'm gonna let you guys know how short am I to reach my goal. And then I don't know if you will see another empties for me this year. Maybe I'll be struggling to film when I'm there and I'm gonna be super busy being um, a new mom. So that's it you guys, that's everything for these empties. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, if you watch the entire video, leave a little trash can below. And let me know if you have been finishing products that you've been working on from your collection. I love you guys, I love you so much. Thank you always for the support. And I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.